A chart like this is often used to report survey results of people's opinions of products and services. In this video, I will show you how to create this chart using the design tool Canva. From the home page in Canva, I'll click on Create a Design and search for Presentation and select the 1920 by 1080 pixels presentation size. We are going to create our design with two types of charts. The first chart is called a progress dial. So click on elements, scroll down to charts. In the section called infographic charts, click see all and click on the progress dial. The gauge selected in the left hand panel, you, you'll see that you can adjust the line weight and I'm setting it to 12 and you can also set the percentage which adjusts where the gauge is pointing. And we can also select our colors. So let's go ahead and do that. For the pointer, which is the first color, I will choose black. And for the gauge itself, I'm going to click on black and then click on add a new color and select a light gray. The second chart that we will use is a donut chart. Again, on the elements, left hand panel, scroll down to charts, and under pie chart, select the donut chart. We only want to use half of the donut chart, and the way we'll do that is by setting up the data a certain way. So on, with the chart selected, on the left hand panel, clear the data, leave the first column blank, that's just for a description which we won't need. And under the second column, enter our data. So we want the chart to have five sections, each of an equal size. So I'm going to enter the number one five times. Then I'm going to enter the number five. That gives us our five sections that are equidistant apart and then one section that we're not going to use that's the other 50% of the donut chart. Let's click on settings and uncheck show labels. The colors of the donut chart can be set from the toolbar across the top. The very last color is the one that represents 50% of the chart. Let's click that color and change it to white. And we now have half of a donut chart. It's of course still a whole donut chart, but we can only see half of it and that's what's important. If you are using a background color, then simply set this last color to the same color as your background. Now let's rotate the chart minus 90 degrees. For the colors of the donut chart, I have a color palette that I want to use. So I'm going to add a new page just going to use this page to work on the color palette before I add it to the design. I created five rectangles and assigned each one a color that I want to use. Select all five colors and copy and paste them. And with the colors all still selected, set the transparency to a more muted color. Make sure that whatever transparency you use still allows the reader to distinguish between the different colors. I am going with 20%. These light colors will be our main color palette, but the bright colors have an important role. So let's see how this will work. I'll copy these muted colors and paste them. The first color, I'll click on add a new color and choose the red. a new color, choose the orange, continue around the donut chart. We can put our two charts together by moving the gauge in front of the donut chart. There's not a way to group two charts together, so you can swipe them both with your mouse so that they're both selected, and then 
we size them and move them as one. Let's add text to describe each section of the gauge. So our first category is strongly disagree. And add descriptions for the other four categories. We can also adjust the gauge to point to the category that we want it to. So you can always click on position and go to layers and then select the gauge that way. Once it's selected, click on edit and you can change the percentage. The gauge can be set from 0 to 100%. If I set it to 70, then it will point to the category Agree. With the donut chart selected, whichever category the needle is pointing to, change that color to the brighter version of it. Select the text and make it bold. Now suppose we want to use this chart in a presentation slide and actually have three versions of it. I'll duplicate the page, select both charts together, adjust the size, make two other copies of it. Select all three together and center them a title and now create a label for each chart again under text If we want this needle to point to disagree, again go to position, select the gauge, click on edit, change the percentage to 30. Select the donut chart, change the orange to the bright orange, and the text to bold. Now we want the bright green color to be our muted green color. So let's find that and bring it up here so that we can use it. Change this text so that it's not bold. I made changes to the third chart as well using similar steps. Let's look at this in presentation mode. I can see it being used as the first slide in a presentation that goes over the different aspects of a job offer and how to evaluate each one. My favorite part of this design is the way that we used color to bring attention to where the gauge is pointing. If we look at a version where the charts use the same bright colors for every category, all of the bright colors are distracting and it makes it difficult to focus on which category each chart is pointing to. I hope you found this video helpful. If you enjoy watching videos about working with data and creating infographics and data visualizations, please consider subscribing to the channel.